What's going on everybody? I'm back again and today I have the next part in the budget series which is the budget offensive line and uh, it's going to cost under 10,000 coins. Uh, the total is 8,500 coins and really to do solo challenges and uh, even in seasons mode an offensive line, a good offensive line is really important. Um, I went to the wrong thing right here. I'm sorry about that. But for a total of 8,500 coins, these players are a steal, complete steal. Uh, I mean, if I didn't have a you know really good team, if I didn't have 1.6 million coins or however much I had, then I'd probably go with these guys. Um, but yeah, the first one is our left tackle. So our first player in this offensive line is the left tackle, and that's going to be Donald Penn, and it's not his most feared card. Uh, right now it's going to be hard to get his regular base gold card because the market is completely flooded with his most feared card. Uh, either one is fine to pick up. Whichever one you find cheaper is fine to pick up, but I mean, I the price on Mott Head is cheaper for his uh, base gold card, so that's what I'm going to go off of. Why I picked him, he has 93 strength, 90 run block, 83 pass block, and 87 impact block. Uh, in this game, there aren't a lot of good left tackles for a, you know, a decent price. Under 2,000 coins. About 2,000 coins or under is what I was going for. But uh, Donald Penn is just complete. He's big. He's strong. His impact block is pretty decent. He has good run block, which is what I look for. If we go into his other stats, he has 56 speed, 87 awareness. But going down to the rest of his blocking stats not just the pass block run block uh here's his run block strength 93 his footwork 89 pass block strength 90 footwork is 80 which is the reason why it comes down a little bit but basically strength uh is what we're really looking at and impact blocking too and it's all solid on this guy um and donald penn has been famous in uh you know madden fifth no madden 13 i think it was with his ghost tight end card he was ridiculous so our left tackle donald penn going for a price average around 1300 coins our next player in the offensive line is jonathan cooper and you might be looking and he might go for 5800 coins right now but that is really not what he goes for his average price is around 3000 coins and he is the most expensive player on this team or on this budget offensive line but look at his stats, guys. He's got 89 strength, 86 pass block, 84 run block, 79 impact block. And you might be thinking, well, that's not good at all. But I told you that tackles were hard to find. Guards are even worse. But I think I picked him because he was all around very complete with 89 strength, uh, 71 speed, which is above average, 85 acceleration, which is also above average. His awareness isn't that great. Uh, but here we are with his pass block is 86, run block 84, and into it we have 84 run block strength, 86 pa run block footwork, 86 pass block strength, 88 pass block footwork. He's just all around, um, he's just an all around uh, left guard, and it's hard to find, but the ones that went for a little bit cheaper weren't as good as him, and I thought... 3,000 coins isn't really going to hurt this team for what Donald Penn and some of the other players go with. So, left guard, chip in a little extra coin for Jonathan Cooper. It's going to be worth it. And our next player is Brian De La Puente. And again, he's going for more than what he's supposed to be going for or should be going for. He will be price checked sometime soon. His average price is 2,000 coins. Uh, and his, his stats... I mean, you might be looking at his run block, but he's got 87 strength, 90 pass block, 91 impact block, 78 uh, run block, but he has, I mean, I, I had to pick him for a reason. I'm going to check right now. You, see, his run block stats aren't that bad. I don't know why he has bad run blocking because it's 83 run block strength, 82 run block footwork, so it should be an average of like 82 at the or like 81 at the least but it's 78 and his pass block uh stats are good too and his impact block 
is 91. I mean, there's nothing there's nothing wrong with this guy. I don't really know why his run block is so bad if you really look into his stats. And again, he goes for like 2,000 coins once he's price checked. Um, so that's our center, Brian De La Puente. And now we're on to our right guard, which is Harvey Dahl. Or Dahl. Yeah, Dahl. Uh... And he's on, I guess he's free agent, but I mean, he's listed, he's listed as a free agent, but he's wearing a Rams uniform. Let's check into his stats. 88 strength, 88 impact block, 78 pass block, and 83 run block. Remember what I said about guards being the hardest to find great all-around stats, uh, but they have good all-around stats most of the time. He has 86 awareness, 88 strength also jumped out at me. Um... Going down to check out his complete stats. Oh gosh, I remember this guy. I remember looking at him and I was just like amazed. 95 run block strength, 92 run block footwork, 95 pass block strength, and 86 run block footwork. He's all around great. And his average price is only 1,000 coins. So, I mean, I, yeah, I could place a bid on him and I could get him for probably 1,000 coins because he's not going to be looked up a lot. Uh, that's a tip for you guys to get these players for their cheapest price you you, you want to keep checking you want to check in the middle of the day on the weekend and at night on the weekend and during the week you want to look at night or right or like seven o'clock eastern time because that's when people are getting off work and stuff like that so, or getting home from work getting on after all they need to do so that's the best time to look and one huge, huge, huge tip. Bid on cards, guys. Because everyone sees someone puts a bid on it, ah, they're probably not going to bid on it. Guys, Amon Green goes for around 250,000 coins or more. When he was listed, when I was trying to buy him, he was going for 260,000 coins. I bid on him, watched it for an hour, got him for 215,000 coins. I saved 45,000 coins by bidding on a car, bidding on a card so tip bid on cards you're gonna get the best price i mean and if there's already a bid on it don't be afraid to put another bid on it because half the time they'll just they're looking for it for that price it's not really gonna bother them they're just looking for a snipe and uh they don't really want to be bothered with it now we're on to our last uh offensive lineman taylor luan lewin However you want to pronounce it, he's a beast. 79 overall right tackle for the Tennessee Titans. His average price is 1,000 coins. Like you can see with a bid, it's 1,000 coins. Um, and when his price drops tomorrow uh, tomorrow evening, um, it'll be 1,000 coins around there. He's got 91 strength, 86 run block, 87 pass block, 84 impact block, 88 acceleration with 76 speed. He's six foot seven. This guy is ridiculous. He's a rookie. Uh, it, guys, I can't, I can't stress enough his overall great stats with six foot seven. He has good strength, above average speed and acceleration, above average agility. His awareness is down a little bit, but that's just because he's a rookie. He's got 87 pass block, 86 run block. They're both average or above average. Uh, his impact block is decent, 84. But his pass block footwork is 94, pass block strength 87, uh, run block footwork 88, and run block strength 86. He's overall going to get what you need to get done. Uh, he doesn't have amazing standout stats like Phil Lodeholt has 98 run block or run block, but he has all around high above average stats. And he's going for like 2,000, 1,000 coins. He, I'm actually going to compare him my right tackle right now uh and i have an elite right tackle phil loadhall and he's boosted uh you know i, I can't do this comparison because he's also boosted for this weekend sorry about that but uh compared to a regular phil loadhall he'd have pretty much the same stats except for run block so that's our offensive line going for around 8,500 coins if you can get a nice snipe in there that takes down the price even more put on bids for the cards um but overall great great offensive line for a cheap you know cheap team you don't you grind out solos you don't spend money for madden ultimate team definitely 
these offensive linemen are the one to go with. I put in a lot of work to find out which would be best for cheap. So if you guys did enjoy this video, I would greatly appreciate a like after all the hard work I put into this. Um, if I helped you out, uh, let me know in the comments. And in the comments also, if there's a player that you think would suit this team better, let me know. And uh, then everyone check that out, see if there are players in the comments. And uh, yeah, if you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe for more Madden 15 Ultimate Team content. I should be posting daily. And the next part of this series is coming soon. The budget defensive line. We're on to the defense now. And it's even better because a lot of the defensive players in this game go for cheap. But that is all, guys. I'll uh, we'll see you next time. And until next time, peace.